think it's just reaching some different children perhaps who wouldn't play other sports. We do have some children here who are very sporty anyway and who play lots of sports. But um, it, there are a few here I was very surprised to see because they're not particularly, you know, sporty types as such. And they, they do seem to be getting a lot out of it. They're really enjoying it. I'll be playing on my Xbox. Sitting at home, watching YouTube. Um, then I'd probably be at home playing on my Xbox. I'd probably just be on my room playing on my PS3. There's been a complete contrast from the just pure beginner to people now hitting it over 100 yards in the air, you know, and just, uh, yeah, just loving what they're doing, loving hitting goal shots. Feel good, like, when I've obviously hit 200 yards or so, um, it just makes you feel good because you feel, look back and see how far you've gone. Because I used to be really silly and now I've just improved my behaviour, I've started. So I started like controlling my behaviour and really... The good thing is with golf is there isn't too much um, competition within a team so a lot of the individuals here aren't actually active so they don't feel like they're letting the team down so by competing just against themselves just within the driving range they're able to focus without that competitive element to start with and then introduce it later on so golf's really helped them get involved in the competition and introduce them to that. Yeah, more likely. Because I can just relax more. Instead of when you're at school, you will tie it up, like have to do this, have to do that. But when you're here, you can just relax. I chose to get involved in this session because I really thought that I could do well in golf. Couldn't have done that, I've never played it. The way they've behaved here has been fantastic, absolutely spot on. Um, there are uh, a couple of children that I would notice who are. Um, who, who have behavioural issues at school, but I've seen none of that here at all. They've been absolutely brilliant. Just focused the whole time. I've got a couple of uh, lads within the group who have been put on, placed on behaviour contracts by the police within the community. Uh, as a carrot for the boys, I've encouraged them that provided we don't hear of any bad behaviour within the community, I'd allow them to come to the sessions at the golf. They've bought into that. Not only have they bought into it, we've had no more incidents of misbehaviour in the community, but they started coming up here at weekends in their spare time. Yeah, over the two sessions, we've actually got to 54 people now, so we've had to introduce the sessions to be on different days to be able to cater for that demand, so you've still got the coaches actually giving enough time for the people. I think if there were 54 people at one session, you wouldn't have that constant one-on-one -on -one coaching style especially when you need that with golf so I can see some of them aspiring to be able to carry on and um, they're talking about when they can come here outside of the time of this golf course to come at the weekends or at half term and to be able to to join in um, and have extra lessons and extra sort of tuition.